Hey everybody out there. Um, today I want to talk about a movie that is uh, a movie that everybody out there is familiar with. Everybody has seen it or seen parts of it or knows of it or knows the music from it and that is The Breakfast Club. It's sort of been in my subconscious I guess lately because I don't know, I, Arch Fiend talked about it in one of his videos recently. Um, Freethinker uh, 3161 has a poster up on his wall of it. And then last night, uh, the family guy had the episode where Peter uh, is Lando Griffin and, he, and he's going to high school. He plays a high school kid and at the end of the Move, end of the show, he walks underneath the goal post and puts his fist up in the air in the same fashion as the ending of uh, Breakfast Club. So, I don't know, it's been in my subconscious. I would like to watch it. I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm thinking about watching it again. But what comes to mind when I think about The Breakfast Club is the scene... There's a scene in this in The Breakfast Club that has to be one of the most uncomfortable scenes in a movie, in a great movie. And that is, uh, okay, now, the, it's a teen movie, teen angst, high school, so they smoke a little bit of grass of, of John Bender's um, stash, and that's fine, you know, I mean, it's a teen movie that should be in there because that's relevant <clears throat> in the 80s as today. Uh, but what happens after that scene is what I want to talk about. And if you're watching it, like say if I'm watching it and I tell it with somebody who hasn't seen it or um, just anybody, but especially if somebody hasn't seen it and you tell them what a great movie this is, and it is a great movie, uh, but when that scene comes, it has to be one of the most uncomfortable scenes. And that is the scene where they get high and then they dance to music and they're dancing and acting wacky and uh, uh, Emilio Estevez uh, is like freaking out and, and he, he like yells and then all the glass breaks which is just bullshit I mean why would they put that scene in this movie this movie is such a great movie it's so dead on with 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 stereotypes with 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 everybody's high school experience and then they do this. They, they, they totally ruin, and they don't ruin the movie because it's still a great movie. But, um, I don't know. I kind of saw on Myth, Mythbusters one time that, that one guy who has a high-pitched voice with a microphone and a, and a, um, a speaker uh, broke a glass. But other than that, Emilio Estevez, the wrestler on uh, in Breakfast Club, the jock is just going to yell and he's going to break the glass. Get out of here. I mean, come on. And then Molly Ringwald dancing and, and it's just, it, it's an uncomfortable scene. It, it should have been taken out of the, the movie right from the get-go. They should have never let that scene be played um, because, I mean, I've smoked weed and... Um, you know, they smoke weed. They may then, but they make it look like they they sniff some speed. You know, they 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 smoke weed and instead of like mellowing out and being cool and like talking about some crazy shit, which they end up doing after. But um, just to have them like blasting the music and dancing and dudes yelling and and all of a sudden the principal is nowhere to be found. Uh, you know, uh, they closed the door, and the principal heard that shit from the bathroom, taking a dump. But now they're playing music, and, and, and yelling, and screaming, and blaring the music, and dancing. And now all of a sudden, you know, uh, nobody can hear, like, you know, he can't hear that shit. Just because the doors are closed. But anyway, um, it's a great movie. I recommend it to anybody who hasn't seen it. I'm sure most people have seen it. But... It's just that scene that bothers me, and it always has, and, and, and it's just uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, especially if you're watching it with somebody who hasn't seen it, and you tell them what a great movie it is, and it really kind of like, you know, 
you know what the other person thinking like what the hell is this shit but you know whatever it's a great movie and um, you know I guess not uh, nothing's perfect but anyway they could have done without that scene and um, that's gonna be it for tonight but now I think I'm gonna go try to watch the breakfast club because all this breakfast club talk has uh, got me a little Got me a little kind of wanting to watch it. It looks like it's going to rain out. So it's a good night for a movie. So peace.